Now, what if after uh, determining the form of differential equations, it is none of those four forms that we discuss? Then how are you going to provide the solution for that first order ordinary differential equation? So you might be considering uh, inspecting the given terms of the differential equation and maybe there are some terms in which you can replace it with exact differentials or what we call common derivatives. This method is concerned with the equations that are simple enough to enable us to find integrating factors by inspection. The ability to do this depends largely upon the recognition of certain common exact differentials and upon experience. So what you have to do, again, as I mentioned, is to inspect the terms of the given differential equation and recognize if there are some exact differentials that can be replaced. For example, if you have x dy plus y dx, then that can be replaced by the derivative of the product xy. So in this lecture, some equations when terms are reduced to exact differentials become a more recognizable differential equations. Hence, solving them becomes easier. So after replacing x dy plus y dx by the derivative of the product xy, when you integrate it, it is simply equal to xy. Here are some exact differentials that frequently occur. These are only some. So I presented only four here, but take note that any derivatives or exact differentials can be uh, a part or term of a differential equation. The derivative of the product I mentioned already, x dy plus y dx is the derivative of xy. The derivative of the quotient x over y is equal to y dx minus x dy over y squared. The derivative of the quotient of y and x is equal to x dy minus y dx over x squared. And the derivative of arctangent of y over x is equal to y dx minus x dy all over x squared plus y squared. So again, these are only some of the exact differentials that we can use. But any other exact derivatives or exact differentials known to us can be used if they are found in the terms of the given differential equations. So to illustrate how are we going to use inspection in finding the integrating factor and providing solution to some ordinary differential equation of the first order, I will be presenting to you some uh, examples. There are four examples that have taken from your module. And here is example number one. Solve the equation y times 2xy quantity dx minus x dy is equal to zero. Okay, so how are we going to solve this particular differential equation? Okay, so we multiply uh, this y to these terms. So that would be 2xy squared dx plus y dx minus x dy is equal to 0. So as you notice in this uh, equation, we have here y dx minus x dy. So it suggests that there should be a derivative of the quotient. However, there is no y squared. So there should be over y squared here. So when you divide it both sides by y squared, what will happen to the first term? Will it be then integrable? So when we divide it by x squared, sorry, by y squared, what is then the resulting equation? So you have there 
2x dx plus y dx minus x dy divided by y squared is equal to 0. Now, the first term is also integrable. So, we replace the second term by, so this is now your 2x dx plus, what is this again? This is the derivative of the product of x over y is equal to 0. Okay, and now all terms are integrable. So we can now integrate all of them. And you have here 2x squared over 2 or x squared plus. This is the integral of the derivative of xy. So that is simply equal to x over y is equal to c. Or simplifying, we multiply both sides of the equation by this y. So that would be x squared y plus x is equal to c times y. Or you can factor out x. So x times xy plus 1 is equal to c times y. Okay? So the terms which were replaced by common derivatives or exact differential are these two terms, but you have to divide it first by y squared. And this is now the derivative of the quotient. So the solution here actually depends on the terms of the given differential equation. And you really need to do inspection and recognize or find the term or terms that can be replaced by those exact differentials. Let us have example number two. Solve the differential equation x cubed y cubed plus 1 dx plus x to the fourth y squared dy is equal to 0. Okay? So you have here x cubed y cubed dx plus dx plus x to the fourth y squared dy is equal to 0. Looking at the first and the third term, there is a common factor of x cubed and y squared. So what is the remaining uh, factor? That would be y dx plus here you have x dy and then plus dx is equal to 0. This is x cubed y squared, and this is now the derivative of the product of xy plus dx is equal to 0. If this is the derivative of product xy, then this factor should also be power or powers of xy only. But you have here x cubed and y squared. So it should be x squared, y squared, or xy only. So if you are going to divide it by x, the remaining would be x squared over y squared. So that is simply xy quantity squared derivative of xy, or simply u squared du. And what will happen to the other term if you divide it by x? So that would be xy square derivative of xy plus dx over x is equal to 0. So the second term is then also integrable. So this is simply u squared du. So we may integrate it. And the integral is u cubed over 3. So that would be x cubed y cubed over 3 plus ln of x is equal to ln of c. For multiplying it by 3, you have x cubed y cubed is equal to 3 ln of c minus 3 ln of x. 
or you can have it also as negative 3 ln of c since that this is still a constant to further simplify the right side of the equation. So x cubed y cubed is equal to negative 3 and property of ln is ln of c times x. And that is now the solution of the differential equation, sorry, in which uh, we replace the terms of the given DE by the derivative of the product. Actually, this is uh, u to the n du that was formed after dividing the differential equation by x. Okay. So let us proceed to the next example, number three. You are asked to solve the differential equation y times x cubed e to the xy dx plus x times y plus x cubed e to the xy dy is equal to zero. So let us multiply these terms. So you have x, x cubed y e to the xy dx minus y squared dx plus xy dy plus x to the fourth e to the xy dy is equal to zero. Looking at the first and the last term, the common uh, term to this is x cubed e to the xy. So we can factor out x cubed e to the xy and remaining now is y dx plus for the last term is x dy. And for the middle terms, you have negative y squared dx plus xy dy. So we can factor out y. So if we factor out y, we start with this. So that is x dy minus y dx is equal to 0. Okay? So looking at this, you have here e to the u. If u is xy, then its derivative is this, y dx plus x dy. So we do not need here your x cube. If we divide it by x cube, so you have e to the xy, derivative of xy plus. Here is minus, so again, it suggests that it should be a derivative of the quotient. But what we need in the denominator is x is squared, but this is x cubed. So if this is the derivative of the quotient y over x, the factor here should also be power or powers of y over x. So having this x cubed, which is x times x squared, that would be simply y over x times x dy minus y dx all over x squared is equal to 0. And that is again e to the xy, derivative of xy plus y over x, derivative of y over x is equal to 0. And now both terms of the differential equation are integrable. This is the integral of e to the u du which is simply e to the u, e to the xy. And this is u du, so plus u squared over 2. So you have y squared over 2x squared is equal to c. And simplifying by multiplying both sides by 2x squared, you have 2x squared e to the xy plus y squared is equal to c x squared. 
And looking at this again, you have here e to the u du, and you have u du in which your du is a derivative of a quotient, y over x. Let us take the last example, example number four. Solve the differential equation y times x squared plus y squared minus 1 dx plus x times x squared plus y squared plus 1 dy is equal to 0. So as you notice in our given de, you have here x squared plus y squared and so as on the other term. So we can have it as the quantity x squared plus y squared times, so you have here first, x dy plus y dx, and the remaining uh, terms here, which is, we start with the positive, so plus the quantity x dy, and then this one, minus y dx is equal to 0. So again, recognizing this one, this is the derivative of the product. So the factor here should also be powers of xy. And with this one, it suggests again derivative of a quotient. But there is no uh, over x squared here. And what you have here on the first term is x squared plus y squared. So when we try to divide it by x squared plus y squared, the equation now is x dy plus y dx plus x dy minus y dx all over x squared plus y squared is equal to 0. So these two terms now is simply the derivative of the product of xy. And what about this second term? x dy minus y dx all over x squared plus y squared. That is simply the derivative of the arc tangent of y over x. is equal to 0. And now again, all terms of the differential equation are integrable. So you have here your xy plus the arctangent of y over x is equal to c. And that is now the solution of the differential equation in which the exact differential that we uh, tried to replace to the terms of the differential equation is the derivative of the arc tangent of y over x. So again, solution of a differential equation in which you find the integrating factor by inspection really depends on how you are going to recognize the terms of DE and in determining or replacing it with the common differentials or the exact differentials. The four differentials or derivatives that I showed you earlier are just some. So there are still other derivatives that we know in which if they are present in the given differential equation can be replaced so that we can easily integrate or provide the solution of that given differential equations.